Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The latest optional bug fix preview update for Windows 11 KB5014019 is now available and started rolling out on the 24th of May 2022. Now this is exactly the same update which I posted on last week which Microsoft rolled out to insiders in the release preview channel and contains and carries the same improvements and fixes as mentioned in that previous video and is now available for the stable version. Now if you'd like to see if you have the update, as always we just head to the settings menu, head over to Windows Update and the C release updates um, that roll out and um, the optional bug fix updates will appear here on the Windows Update page as an optional update so you don't have to install the update as it's a preview update and uh, um, as I mentioned with the optional updates that rolled out near the end of every month only install these bug fix updates if you're having any issues with your system else just leave the update alone and ignore it as um, most of the features improvements and fixes will roll out uh, in the next month June 2022's Patch Tuesday automatic update anyway which will roll out on the second Tuesday next month. Now if you do decide to install the update you will have to restart your device afterwards and if you are interested um, the update will be listed under update history cumulative update for Windows 11 KB5014019. Now this um, update does carry two new uh, uh, features and the first is a minor update which improves the family safety verification experience for a child account when you send a request for additional screen time. And then the second uh, is uh, the new Windows Spotlight for desktop which I have already applied after um, um, installing the update which I think will be the key highlight and is the key highlight um, for this uh, latest optional update. And as mentioned, Windows Spotlight on the desktop brings the world to your desktop with new background pictures. And Microsoft says with this feature, new pictures will automatically appear as your desktop background. Now, if we just head back to the settings menu, personalization. Previously, this Windows Spotlight was available um, to personalize your lock screen um, as an option previously only to personalize your lock screen, one of the options. And now, as mentioned, Microsoft has rolled it out for you to personalize your actual desktop background. And how you apply it is you just head to personalization, background. And previously, uh, we only had picture, solid color, and slideshow. And now we have the new Windows Spotlight. So if you enable that, um, a picture background applies to your current desktop as mentioned. And if we just head back, you'll also see uh, there's also an icon now um, on the desktop when you apply Windows Spotlight, which says learn about uh, this picture. And if you double click on that, uh, it will open up your Edge browser where you can read up a little bit more about the picture that is currently available, an image that is currently available on your desktop. And if you right click on the icon, um, you can obviously open that in your browser. You can switch to the next picture. As you can see and then you can like uh, like this picture or not a fan of this picture so that's the new windows spotlight now available after uh, and if you decide to install kb5014019 now just to mention uh, some of the key highlights um, and fixes um, if you are interested and i'm just going to go through these quickly uh, it addresses an issue that fails to maintain the display brightness after you change the display mode and an issue that affected the Internet Explorer mode window frame has been addressed. An issue that prevented Internet shortcuts from updating has been addressed. Um, an issue that caused an input method editor to discard a character if you entered the character while the IME uh, was converting previous text has been addressed. And there are three no improvements now regarding widgets uh, in this latest update 5014. 019. And the first is it addresses an issue that causes widgets to appear on the wrong monitor when you hover over the widgets icon on the taskbar. So that's if you are running a multi-monitor setup. And um, it adds animation now to the widgets icon when you click or tap the icon and the task and the taskbar is aligned on the left. So if you have your taskbar icons aligned to the left, um, uh, it now adds animation to the widgets icon when you click or tap the icon and then the third improvement to uh, the widgets addresses an issue that affects the rendering of the default widgets icon on a taskbar 
that is aligned in the center. So that rendering now has been addressed with this latest update. And then just to carry on with those fixes and improvements, uh, addresses an issue that causes blurry app icons in search results when you uh, display when the display's dots per inch DPR scaling is greater than 100%. Addresses an issue that causes file copying to be slower, so that's a bit of a performance uh, boost there. And it also addresses an issue uh, that fails to automatically give the search box input focus um, when you select the start menu and start typing in the search. So that has also been addressed. And those are the key improvements. And then just to mention one or two others here, uh, which might be of interest in case you're interested, um, it also fixes an issue that fails to maintain the display brightness after you ch change the display mode. And then uh, yeah, is a, a, quite an important fix. It addresses an issue that might affect some apps that use D3D9.dll with certain graphics cards and might cause those apps to close unexpectedly. And that um, addresses uh, an issue that was causing um, apps to crash and not function correctly. So that's quite an important fix. And hopefully um, that will address the app crashes that some of some users have been experiencing in Windows 11. And then just uh, uh, one or two more to mention addresses an issue that prevents internet shortcuts from updating. An issue that caused some users to see a black screen when they sign in and sign out of Windows has also been fixed. And then the last one just to mention, um, uh, it uh, addresses an issue that might cause a system to stop responding when a user signs out if Microsoft OneDrive is in use. So that's more or less what's new with KB5014019 this month's optional C-release bug fix update that rolled out on the 24th of May um, uh, this month. And as mentioned, the key highlight is the new Windows Spotlight, which is now available for your desktop. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.